Hello, this is Mrs. Page. I'm going to show you how to navigate Destiny Discover to learn how to search for books, how to create reading lists, and how to place a hold on books so that you could get it checked out and picked up at your school library curbside pickup day. So to begin with, you need to navigate to your school's library homepage. So if there is no link from the school website, you can navigate to 4 j falletdestiny.com and you will click on your school's name. So there you'll have to click on the drop down menu and the school name. And then you'll ensure that you're at the correct school. You should see your school name in the upper left hand corner. And then you can click the login button. You will then use your 4J username, which is everything before the at symbol in your email address and your 4J password to log in. And then you'll be directed to Destiny Discover. So this is a tool that has all of the books that are in your library at your school on the shelf. It'll show you if they're in or if they're out, and you can search for them using this search bar if you know the specific title of the book or the author of a book, or if you're just looking for books about a certain subject or keyword, you can type them in here. When you scroll down, this is an announcement window that your school might have updates about what's happening in the library. There are these ribbons, you'll see a variety of them, and they feature different books in your library. Um, this particular one is just a list of topics or genres in your library. So if you really love um, adventures, you could click on that and get a list of books. We'll go ahead and do that and see what happens. So I get this list of all these adventure books that are happening or that are available in the library. Um, and you'll see they're available because it says in. If this is a red flag, it will say out on it, and you'll know that book is not available um, in the library. So there's a few different features happening on this card. We call these little cards. And if you can click on the card, it will flip over, and you'll get a little bit more information, the author and where you can find it if you were actually in the library. Um, and then you can click on more details. So that'll open up a window and give you a little summary of the book. And these two buttons right here are what we'll be working to, are two buttons you'll be using. If you want this book eventually, like you're interested in it, you can add it to your favorites list, which is the equivalent of creating a reading list for yourself. So I can do that and then you'll see that the heart is filled in now. This is the holds list. Um, when you press a hold, you are telling your library manager that she, she or he is going to go to the shelves and pick that book off the shelf and check it out to you so that you pick it up on your school's library curbside pickup day. Please make sure you have permission from your parents to ensure that you can actually be there on that day to pick it up because the book will be checked out to you. So only use this button if you know that you can get to the school on your curbside pickup day. Pick up day. Down here, these are books that you may be interested in if you liked this book. So this is kind of a nice feature. When you're done with this window, you just click the X in the right corner. And um, you'll see that this red heart is filled in because I favorited this book. If I don't want this book on my list or on my reading list, I can unfavorite it right here. And it will tell me that that favorite's been removed. I can flip the card over. I can also place a hold right here. So if you already know you want this book, you can click hold and put that book on hold right there. When I want to go back to the home page, I click up on discover up top. It'll take me back to where I started and you can explore some other ribbons in a similar fashion. The last thing I want to share with you is up in the upper left hand corner is the hamburger menu. And this helps you when you click on my stuff, um, it will land on checkout. So this will show you any books that you have checked out. We quit school early last year and a lot of people had books still checked out and get, didn't get to return them in the spring. So if you do have any books checked out, bring them back when you go to pick up your books at your library curbside checkout, checkout day. You can also view your holds. These are the books that, uh, that are on hold. Even though it says available now, you will not pick it up until you get a notice of the time and the day for your school's library curbside pickout day. 
Then there is the favorites list. So these are all books that I want to read, but I'm not going to check them out or put them on hold right now. And you can manage that list by just clicking on the book and flipping it over and clicking that heart. It'll double check with you to make sure you want to remove it. And you say yes, and that book will disappear from your list. So that is how you can um, create reading lists with creating favorites. You can check out um, or create a hold list for a library curbside checkout. And when you want to go back home, and don't forget to, check, to see if you have any books checked out, and then you can return home by clicking Discover. Thank you so much, and happy reading.